Hey everyone, it's Eisenberg, and I'm back here with a little introductory series and tutorial series uh, on uh, Kerbal Space Program's KOS, which I believe stands for Kerbal Operating System. Um, basically, it's a scriptable autopilot that allows you to do a variety of things with your ship and do it pretty much uh, in like a programming kind of way and actually script out um, how your ship's going to fly or how your rover's going to rover and all that kind of stuff. You can do rovers, you can do automated, you know, launches, automated orbital maintenance. Um, you could even script the injection burns to, let's say, the moon or mon or whatever. And basically, um, it opens up a whole a whole series of possibilities of having maybe even a completely automated flight. So my setup here is actually a stock Kerbal Space Program um, I have set up with Remote Tech and KOS. Now, the reason why I even started looking at KOS was because I use remote tech and sometimes remote tech you may not have your communication network set up in a way that is really viable for um, your, your launches. So like right now my ship is currently launching but I'm going to lose connection and you'll see what happens when I lose connection. It pretty much kills the craft, I have no control over it and it plummets to the ground. Well, plummets, plummets back into range from here. See it, and there it goes. So, what I acquired KOS for was because it's also integrated with Remote Tech, and it allows you to kind of like script your ships. And I'm this series, I think I'm going to work up and try to get you guys to be able to script a ship that can get into a basic orbit, or maybe even further if uh, I decide the series should go on. So let's go over to the VAB real fast and show you what um, you need to do to set all this up. Okay, so in the VAB, um, you can go over to the, I believe, control tab, and you can see the two new items that were added by KOS. The KR2042B and the CX4181. Now, the KR2042 is kind of like a really small like probe type um, part. I can go in your probes. What I'm using on this craft is actually the CX4181, which is slightly bigger, and as you can see right there, is what's on the ship. You just drop it on there like any other part, and you're ready to launch. Okay, so out in the launch pad, um, as you can see of the ship, uh, one thing I don't like about this mod is it's not very easy to get to the controls, but just right click on the part, which is the CX4181 in the ship, and do open terminal. And as you can see here, opens the Kerbal OS operating system. I guess it's kind of redundant. Um, and from here, you pretty much do everything uh, for scripting and coding wise. And uh, do note that it does take some power, actually. I'm not sure. Open this up. It's actually apparently going on very very slowly it does take power to run it so as you can see I turned it off and you can see it's grayed out and there's no more power being drained but if I turn it back on let's see toggle power on as you can see this power starts draining again so it does take power um, so basically that's an introduction to the KOS part and the menu system that you have at your disposal um, can't seem to get the menu up there. There we goes. And basically, uh, the next episode, I will give you kind of a heads up and uh, show you how to do our first uh, little script in KOS. And then eventually, like I said, work up to where we actually get one of these things on orbit. So until next time, this is Isomer signing off.